What's happening, fame? We are in Belgrade, Serbia, outside the Stark Arena. We've just landed and it's the World Championships. We've got about two juniors and a senior team trying to get medals for our home country of England. We are one of 52 countries competing for over 500 athletes. The style of fighting here, it's a tournament, so every day the fighters have to make weight at 7 a.m. Then they have to come back at 9 a.m. to fight. So it's going to be one long week. I look tired already. Wait till you see me at the end of the week. So you think you've got 600 athletes on a mat. Pandemonium's going off. They keep changing the times when they're on. They keep putting our breaks in. You've got to go hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, and then deal with everyone's different warm-up style, everyone's different fight on the spot adapting every minute. This is one of the hardest coaching things I've ever done to stay as professional um, in terms of no matter how I feel, having to be on for them always, making sure they feel no doubt, making sure they feel electric and unbeatable. Um, managing this many like um, characters and like mindsets and the other organisation is just ruthless do you know what I mean but um, yeah we've got four people on with like a five minute split in between so we're just making sure everyone knows they're warm up do you know when you when you're coming out to represent the country you could do it on your own you'd, you'd be a gangster and do it by yourself do you know what I mean but we'll go through now hopefully Jack I've got a soft spot for them so I really really want them to win life throws everything at me every single day and I think Paul Rimmer said it best once in an interview that no matter what happens in my personal life or in day to day life with having to be meatball and the the whole escapades that come with that and working with weapons down it's a lot a lot and um, I just had to make sure that the second I'm in front of the athletes all they see is a role model and a leader. Like we said, hold the centre, push it to the edge of the cage, and when you see that takedown is on, it's on. She bull rushes, spike her, the GSP takedown. If you're on the single on the cage, the inside trip, and if you're on the cage, outside trip, and then you know how to finish the fight. Okay, kid? Don't have fun. It's quite tough, but I've not really met too many people who can do it as well as what I can. Um, but yeah, just make sure that I give, I'm selfless enough to give everyone that everything they need when I'm here. Four into the semis. That's bronze medals, that is. That's bronze medals, that is. Gonna be gold sooner or later. Uh, I'm very proud. I feel like uh, what I was just saying then was um, we have never came as a solo nation, we came as a, a Great Britain and it would probably be one of the most successful ones we've managed to do. I'm proud of each individual young person who's come on this. They've all held the nerve, they all went out on the shield and they all bit down on the gummy um, and they really gave a great account of themselves and even in defeat showed grace and 
even when it's hard for them to sit there in their own sorrow and pity and grieve and their losses, they show up. They, they came every day, they show up, put on a brave face and they supported the team members and that's all we can ask. Come on, he's in this cabinet. All the actors have a net on the switches on. Shout that easy coffee. World champion, world champion. Feed into the lights, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> can we show her the girl? You can take Bolton out of the girl, but you can't take the girl out of Bolton. No, she can take the girl out of Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest purple I've ever heard. Have a great A young female of the age of 18, for those at home, juniors is 18 to 21. So we she turned 18 in December and chose to do the, the adults, the seniors. So I'm just a bit of... Okay, love. You need a monster, in it. <laughs> so yeah, just waiting on a few more people and then we'll be going on. Walking to the arena. Last time, go and get calls and then throw a party. We're going to throw a party. Scout off. Scout off. Just saying to Molly, this right now is the calm before the storm. Yeah, big time. Um. How are you feeling heading into this final competition? I'm probably a little bit like Izzy, overconfident, if I'm honest, but um, also feel a bit tired, so it's definitely the calm before the storm, but um, can't wait. One, because she's been great with the team. Two, because the way she's just looks so good with it in the cage so and I think she's a hot favourite so I'm just really interested in the fight now where the opponent's gonna kind of face her because I don't imagine anybody wants to fight Izzy right now so you know what it's about for me it's like Izzy and then rowing after and there's all been standing together and they're screaming from the rooftops for the teammates you know it's like can't wait to go and then I can't wait to go home and celebrate the success you know but um, what a week what an absolutely brilliant week Calm before the storm we're about to walk up to the arena We've got Izzy McGoffey out there in the gold medal match. So we've got Rowan Crocker, we're supporting our Wales guys. So far the whole competition has been great. Everybody in the team's worked well, but today now is our pinnacle of what we need to do to make sure we go on with that gold. <laughs> You love it. You love it. You love it. What's a bomb? I need it. I hate these niggas more than I call. I know you love to show off. So it's the finals for the fifth time without the man interrupting me. Um, Izzy's just getting the hands wrapped. We've made one to the finals, which I don't think we've ever had a senior make the final before. We've had juniors, but not a senior. So um, it's my time to do the business. It is his time to do the business. It's time for England to bring back gold. Oh, you got me? Oh, you got me, yeah. I'll give up. Go on, give us a slap, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's a lot. Come on. Come on. Listen, she hasn't come all the way around the world to knock it in. Do you know what I mean? She might not be technically great, but she's come here to be world champion. Get in there, focus, shown in, and fucking going off the best three minutes in your life. Well, get out the first as long as you keep stick to the game plan. Come on, man. 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 She had loads of injuries coming into this competition. Um, the way she's just handled herself, I didn't expect. I thought you'd see a, a raw 18-year-old, lots of emotion, lots of 
effing and blinding. I, I know that's what I would have been like at that age, but she, she stayed composed. She had a lot of dignity and humility about herself, and she's just said, look, the last round I lost, second round I won, first round I could have gone either way, so I'll be back. And that's all you can want to hear from a fighter. Um, I think it's the biggest lesson and the biggest blessing that young girl will ever receive. Um, I feel like she will always learn from this, move from this and prepare a little bit different from this. And I think um, I'm just really proud of how she's held herself. She's been like the joker. Um, she's made everyone laugh. She's a fucking nutter. And uh, she chose to use this um, platform to express her uh, mixed martial arts art ability. And I believe she's done that. And I believe she, she's never felt pressure like that before. Imagine fighting for her to be world champion. Um, I believe these are big lessons that she's just going to absolutely learn from. And I know everyone in Manchester, top team, everyone at Bolton, uh, where she's from, everyone back home, everyone's made up for her. humility in these kinds of uh, competitions. This isn't a prize fighting tournament, this isn't bravado and selling tickets, this is talent, this is hard work and this is uh, sportsmanship not gamesmanship. So uh, I've learned that meatball doesn't work here and that's for a more general broader audience but Molly McCann and the mixed martial artists that she is is what works in these competitions and to hold myself at that standard and to, to teach that culture to, the, to the, the seniors and the junior members of the English MMA Association. <laughs> Um, uh, we will probably have the Four Nations or the National Championships. So I think we'll go home, debrief with every athlete, tell them what they've done well, um, speak to the coaches, see if they want to take any of our coaching points on board. If they do, that's great. If they don't, then <laughs> they shouldn't be in the sport. Um, and keep supporting the, the kids and the young uh, athletes where we can.